the chain of responsibility design pattern, the intent is uh, to avoid uh, coupling the sender of the request uh, to its uh, receiver by giving more than one object uh, a chance to handle the request. Uh, so chain the receiving objects uh, and pass the request along the chain until an object uh, handles it. So this uh, software design pattern is a uh, mimicking the chain of a command in a typical organization. So at here at UCO, the chain of a command is uh, the staff or faculty member, if they cannot handle the situation that is out of their authority, then that is uh, forwarded to next chain of command, which is department chairperson, and then dean of the college, and then provost, and then president. So that uh, idea is uh, implemented uh, in chain of responsibility pattern. So applicability is uh, more than one object may handle a request, uh, but the handler does not know who will handle it in advance. Uh. And uh, you want to issue a request to one of several objects without uh, specifying the receiver explicitly the set of objects uh, that can handle a request uh, should be specified uh, dynamically. That's uh, applicability. So we have uh, three participants uh, in chain of a responsibility design pattern. So handler is an interface uh, that defines uh, the behavior for concrete handler. So it defines uh, the interface for handling request. Uh, and optionally, it may implement a successor link. So concrete handler implements uh, uh, interface handler and then uh, uh, it can access uh, its uh, successor. So if a concrete handler can handle the request, it does, but otherwise it forwards uh, the request to its uh, successor. And the client uh, initiates the request to one of the concrete handler and then several concrete handlers are in on a chain the, uh, through the chain of uh, responsibility, it will be handled. So UML diagram for the structure is uh, something like this. Uh, so client issues uh, a request to handler. The concrete handler implements the handler. So concrete handler has a successor information. So handler 1 has a successor which is a handler 2. Handler 2 is a successor which is handler 3. So request made to concrete handler 1 if it can handle the do so otherwise afford it to next handler and so on. That's uh, how this design pattern works. So first example uh, client uh, issues a complaint as a request, uh, then a chain of a responsibility is a set in a restaurant as follows. A waiter first receives uh, the complaint. If uh, he or she can handle, uh, do it, otherwise afford it to chef, and then manager. So this is a chain of a uh, responsibility. The actual code, uh, something like this. So here is a uh, uh, handler interface, uh, in this case complaint handler. It has two behaviors. Uh, first one is uh, to handle the request, uh, is a process complement, com complaint, and then to set the chain of a responsibility link. The concrete handler, first guy is a waiter, and then how to set the successor is there, and how to process the request is there. So simply the request is in a, a string form and then if uh, out of a water is the main complaint uh, then waiter takes care of it otherwise uh, the complaint is uh, forwarded to its uh, successor. And then chef uh, handles uh, the uh, request. Uh, this overdone is the issue. Chef handles that otherwise uh, forwarded to its uh, successor. The manager does it similarly. So main program, you have a manager, chef, and waiter, and then we set the chain of responsibility. So waiter's successor is a chef, chef's successor is manager, and the manager is at the top of the hierarchy. 
So waiter receives a complaint which is out of water, then here in concrete handler in implementation, waiter takes care of it. But the complaint is a, it is a ripoff, uh, then from waiter, it cannot handle, so it's forwarded to the successor. Successor is a chef. Uh, chef is out of his uh, responsibility, so it's uh, forwarded to its a successor, which is a manager. So manager handles uh, very nicely to the client. Get out of my restaurant. Now another complaint to the waiter is that uh, so the steak is overdone, then waiter cannot handle it, so it's afforded to its successor. Successor is a chef, so chef's a responsibility, and then chef takes care of that. So this is the first example of a chain of responsibility design pattern. And next example, so we have only one type of a concrete handler, a student. Huh? That's the situation. So help is requested, then help is forwarded uh, properly through the chain of uh, student objects, uh, and they have a different responsibility there. So here is actual example code uh, for that demonstration. So here's another set of uh, programs. Uh. So here, uh, handler interface is uh, very similar to the uh, restaurant case, so process request uh, and then uh, set successor is there. For student, uh, it's concrete handler. When student is created, uh, it has name and it has responsibility defined. Uh, but to set up a successor link, this method is called, and the resp uh, request is made uh, then if uh, the request is uh, on this object uh, responsibility, then do that, otherwise uh, forward it. So here, main program, a student uh, dumber responsibility is doing addition. And the student uh, dumb responsibility is subtraction. Uh, student uh, normal is uh, for multiplication. And student smart is for division. And then request chain is uh, from dumber to dumb, from dumb to normal, from normal to smart. Smart is the end of the hierarchy. So, request is made uh, to Dummer, the first one on the uh, uh, chain. If request is addition, Dummer takes care of that. If subtraction, Dummer sends it to Dumb. Multiplication, Dummer sends to Dumb, and the Dumb forwards it to Normal. And then division, finally, the Dummer forwards it to Dumb, Dumb forwards it to a Normal, Normal forwards it to Smart. So that's a uh, demonstration of a chain of responsibility design pattern.